Have you ever looked up at the stars and wondered how our little blue planet came to be? Earth's story is one of chaos, transformation and resilience. In this video, we'll journey through the history of Earth. So fasten your seatbelts as we travel back in time to witness the birth of our world, the rise of life, and the dramatic changes that have shaped the Earth as we know it today. The Fiery Birth of Earth Imagine a time before time itself, where the Sun was just forming from a massive cloud of dust and gas. This swirling mass, a nebula, was the birthplace of our solar system. Around 4.5 billion years ago, amidst this cosmic nursery, tiny grains of dust began to stick together, drawn by the force of gravity. As these particles collided and coalesced, they formed larger and larger clumps, eventually becoming planetesimals, baby planets, if you will. Among these fledgling worlds was Earth, but don't picture the blue and green planet we know today. Early Earth was a hellscape. During the Hadean Eon, named after Hades, the Greek god of the underworld, our planet was a molten mass, constantly bombarded by asteroids and comets. The surface was an ocean of magma, with temperatures soaring thousands of degrees, while the air was thick with toxic gases like methane and ammonia. It was a world of extremes, where the landscape was reshaped by violent volcanic eruptions and endless asteroid impacts. This chaotic bombardment phase is known as the Late Heavy Bombardment, a period when the inner planets of the solar system, including Earth, were pelted with leftover debris from the formation of the solar system. Yet, amid this destruction, the seeds of a habitable world were sown. These impacts brought essential elements to Earth, like water and carbon, crucial ingredients for life. As millions of years passed, Earth began to cool. A thin crust formed on the surface, though it was still punctured frequently by the cataclysmic forces from within and above. This cooling process was slow, but it marked the transition from a molten world to a planet where life could potentially take hold. The Formation of the Moon Around 4.4 billion years ago, Earth experienced what might be considered its first cosmic collision. A Mars-sized object, often referred to as the Earth, slammed into the young Earth with unimaginable force. This collision was so powerful that it ejected a massive amount of debris into space, forming a ring of molten rock and dust around Earth. Over time, this debris coalesced due to gravitational forces, eventually forming the Moon. The Moon wasn't just a byproduct of a violent past, its creation was a pivotal moment for Earth. The Moon helped stabilize Earth's axial tilt, which is crucial for maintaining a stable climate over long periods. Without the Moon, Earth's tilt could vary wildly, leading to extreme climate changes that might have hindered the development of life. Moreover, the Moon's gravitational pull created tides, which would later play a significant role in the emergence and evolution of life in Earth's oceans. Imagine the night sky shortly after the Moon's formation. The Moon was much closer to Earth than it is today, appearing enormous in the sky. Its gravitational influence was far stronger, causing dramatic tides and influencing the planet's geology. The formation of the Moon was a cataclysmic event, but it was also a stroke of luck for the development of a stable environment on Earth. This stability 
allowed the planet to enter a new phase where oceans could form and, eventually, life could begin. The first oceans and the origins of life. As Earth's surface continued to cool, water vapor released from volcanic activity condensed to form the first oceans around 3.8 billion years ago. Picture a world covered in vast, dark seas under a thick, steamy atmosphere. Lightning storms raged across the planet and volcanic islands intermittently broke the surface, hinting at the landmasses to come. These oceans were more than just a body of water. They were a crucible for the creation of life. In this primordial soup, life began. The first life forms were not the complex creatures we see today, but simple, single-celled organisms. These early microbes, known as prokaryotes, appeared around 3.5 billion years ago. They were incredibly hardy, capable of surviving in the extreme conditions of early Earth conditions that included high levels of UV radiation, toxic chemicals, and little oxygen. These prokaryotes fed on simple molecules like hydrogen and methane, producing waste products that would gradually alter Earth's atmosphere. One of the most fascinating developments in Earth's history was the emergence of photosynthetic bacteria, such as cyanobacteria. These microorganisms could harness sunlight to produce energy, releasing oxygen as a byproduct. This was a game changer. For hundreds of millions of years, cyanobacteria flourished, covering shallow seas and forming structures known as stromatolites. These structures can still be found today in places like Shark Bay, Australia, serving as living fossils of Earth's early biosphere. The oxygen produced by cyanobacteria began to accumulate in the oceans and eventually in the atmosphere. This process, known as the Great Oxygenation Event, would set the stage for more complex life forms to evolve. However, it also caused a mass extinction of anaerobic organisms, those that thrived without oxygen, marking the first of many mass extinctions that would reshape life on Earth. 